boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm about as giddy as a schoolgirl over here. Mr. Adim Pingu, our modding savior, has been hard at work, as you can see. He just leaked his most recent work, and needless to say, it is pretty remarkable. What's up everybody, and welcome to the Military Simulator Tactical Shooter and Historic Gaming Channel, home of the weekly Steam Key giveaway. For details on how to get in the giveaway, just stay tuned to later in the video. Alright boyos and goyos, for those of you that live in a cave, the news is out. The Postscriptum dev team has been busy for the past 6 months or more, updating the engine to the current Unreal Engine 4 4.27 current model. And what this means is, everything breaks, so it's taken some substantial time for them to bring postscriptum and its code over into this engine and fix everything up tidy everything up so that it works as it did well why update to the new engine well because the devs will have access to a host of new features not only making adding content easier but things that once weren't possible will now be possible to code within this new engine update now a lot of you vanilla postscriptum players may not even know about the postscriptum realism mod as the player base has kind of devolved down into two different categories vanilla players and realism players or event players some of these realism guys haven't played on a vanilla server in probably years all they do is events and likewise some of these vanilla guys haven't even been introduced to psrm however as time goes on i hope to see a melding of the two player bases at least within the content because coming very soon to psrm will be these tank interiors that Adam Pingu has worked so hard on. I don't know how to pronounce his name, please forgive me. Now it may only be one or two tanks when this is first introduced. I'm not 100% sure, but either the Panzer III or the Panzer IV. Now, if this is the first time you heard of or seen any news about interiors of tanks coming to the game, be sure to check out the two videos I did before this. Just go to my channel and search tank interiors because there's tons of content on those videos, including the bold statement made by Adim himself that he plans on doing every tank interior for every tank in the game. Not only that, but moving over to mods like the Mercury mod, the Battle of Crete, and later even the North African mod. Yeah, I know, right? We need to build this man a shrine. So the clip I'm about to roll for you guys was captured within the SDK itself. And that's basically a tool that the developers and modders use to add content to the game. Believe it or not, it has a download size bigger than Call of Duty Warzone. And it doesn't run the greatest. So you'll notice some skipping, a little bit of lag. That's completely normal within the SDK. Now what you're about to see is Adam crawl into the commander spot. He also has a player controlled gunner to the left of him once he gets in and then he has a loader to the right of him now, many people have been requesting the loader be a player controlled position now that makes no sense to me however if we ever get to and i think we will soon 100 player servers i wouldn't mind it so much but to me it's just a waste of player slot i don't know maybe you could do something like if you decide to put a player in that position you get a slightly boosted reload speed i don't know for now it's just a nifty animation You'll also see the gunner crawl out of his hatch, and then ultimately Adam, the commander, poking his head out of his hatch. Boy, is it beautiful. Here you can see the gunner who is halfway out of his hatch. And I suppose Adam shoots him for testing reasons, I'm not sure. Here you'll see the gunner climb back onto the tank, open up the hatch, climb in, and then peek out the gunner hatch, which is kind of on the side of the turret. Now I'm just going to shut up for the rest of this and let you boys enjoy.
Uh, I should have told you before I showed you the clip. Probably want to go use my Amazon affiliate link in the video description. Go order you some paper towels, some kind of cloth to lay over your keyboard so you don't slobber all over it, and support the channel with pennies on the dollar. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'm just going to show these newest screenshots in like a slideshow format. I hope you guys are as stoked for the future of Postscriptum as I am. Look guys, it's a small dev team with almost no financial backing. I know it sounds crazy, but we, the players, the community got to do our best to promote this game and share this game everywhere I look on forums I see it trash and then someone coming to its defense. It's ridiculous It's almost like all the big content creators have moved on to whatever's trending. That's all good You guys got my word. I ain't going nowhere on you. We're known for one of the most respectable communities out there Let's try to keep it that way. Let's not let a few bad apples spoil a bunch And I'm not even gonna get into all that for all you vanilla postscriptum guys who want to enjoy events and stuff like that some of these groups will let you just come on and play as a guest if you're anything like me with a full-time job family YouTube channel you don't have a whole lot of time to exactly be a member of a group you can head over to the PSRM official discord they have a whole recruitment section or just go into the general chat area say hey I'm new I'd love to try this you'll be greeted with open arms I promise here is some of the bregalia in PSRM that's right all the uniforms actually have particular units regalia as far as badges and patches on their uniforms pretty cool stuff now for those of you who have been following PSRM for a long time a lot of this will be old stuff to you however the IR9 I think just leaked pretty cool stuff all right boys keep in mind now that we've hit this 4.27 update the devs are gonna be able to focus on actual content releases from here on out also there is a summer steam key sale coming i believe the 28th might even get my hands on some more giveaway promo keys so stay tuned now that the devs are focused on content and not an engine upgrade we'll be seeing that chapter four watch on the rhine battle of the bulge foy all that good winter stuff sooner than later all right all right i want to thank everybody for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel we're headed for 5,000 subscribers i might have picked the most nichest game to main but damn it we're gonna ride her out hell or high water long live postscriptum god bless the boys over at periscope games same with all the modders cats and the boys over at chapter mercury adam pingu edelweiss soft baked sally just to name a few i want to give a special shout out to my channel members consider joining the mill simp minions all three tiers at least get you double the entry in every week's steam key giveaway that's right we're still giving away steam keys right now we got easy red 2 mud and blood and fire and steel to enter the giveaway it's super Super easy just like this video subscribe to the YouTube channel join us on discord the boogie 5 discord channels link right below and drop a comment say whatever you want tell me how much I suck tell me how much me posting in your off topic just get your goat and leave your discord name and number because that's gonna work as your ticket stub if you do win come through to the discord and submit your clips whoever has the most funny awesome kill streak whatever the coolest clip in the next top 10 mil sim moments episode 4 first place is gonna win a steam key all right good luck to everybody i'll see you boys in the next one y'all be good to each other